you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Ms. Ingram, you have been at the IRS how long? I am sorry. I was adjusting the mic, sir. You have been at the IRS how long? Uh, over 31 years. And you take the, I want to go back to where the Chairman was, you take the 6103 confidentiality uh, statute pretty seriously at the IRS? Very seriously. In fact, let us put up the definition here, just the, the statute itself says, no officer or employee of the United States shall disclose any return or return information obtained by him in any manner in connection with his or her service as such an officer or an employee or otherwise or under the provisions of this section. This is the statute itself. It is pretty straightforward. You can't share personal taxpayer information, correct? True. Okay. And then you gave the, I cited it in my opening statement, you gave a presentation to the IRS Oversight Board where you highlighted this as you were talking about the Affordable Care Act. If we can put that slide up. This is from the presentation you gave according to the minutes of that meeting in front of the IRS Oversight Board. And I want to show Federal tax law imposes privacy protections that bar IRS from disclosing Federal tax information. Down the final sentence, this encompasses both the release of the data and the safeguarding of the data in the hand of the recipient. So if you are conveying, you can't, you can't pass this back and forth, you got to protect this. This was the presentation you gave in front of the IRS Oversight Board. Now let's go back to the email Mr. Uh, the Chairman, excuse me, had in front of you, if we could, where uh, well, it is addressed to Ms. Jean Lambrou. Who is, Ms., who is, who is Jean Lambrou? Uh, she's. Uh, my understanding is that she's on the Domestic Policy Council. Your understanding? You don't know this lady very well. No, I don't know her very well. No. Well, according to the White House Visitors Log, we just I mean, we do this all the time. We grab the White House Visitors Log in a 17-month time frame. You visited with her 75 times. That's you, more than once a week. It says Sarah H. Ingram, 826 Jean Lambro. Uh, deputy Assistant to the President for Health Care, 75 different times it's in the law that that's who you visited with, and you would say you don't really know her? Those are the times that I was cleared to attend, not necessarily the times that I actually attended. Do you know how many times you did attend of those 75 you were cleared? Many fewer. Many fewer, okay. So something below 75, but potentially you could have been there 75 times. Okay, and your testimony to Mr. Issa was that you did not disclose any 6103 information, correct? I have not. Okay. So, who then at the IRS decided that you did and blacked out all they blacked out on that email? There Some, I mean, so, so this, we got this from the IRS. We didn't black it out. We actually want to know what is underneath. There is a difference between whether somebody gives me information about a taxpayer to which I can respond versus releasing okay. an email to other members such as the members of Congress, but I defer to the people wait, wait, the wait, So are you saying you are allowed to give 6103 information to the White House? It is not 6103 information. Well, well, is can you coming, look at that? Just look at that email real closely and if see, it is see where all the black print is, see where all the black, where it is all blacked out? There is a number written on each of those black about areas. And what is the number written there? Can you just say for the record what the number is? For the release of the document. No, no, no. What is the number? 6103. 6103. So someone at the IRS decided this was confidential taxpayer information. And when we got these documents, when the committee got these documents, they said, oh, you know what? That is information you are not allowed to see, committee. But yet it was fine for you to communicate to the White House and release that information and give that information. I would refer you to the people at the IRS so and better we explain want to know, the uh, difference. That would be great. We would like to know who that person is who made that decision, because you certainly didn't think it was. Someone did. I believe the committee is interacting with people at the Let IRS Let me ask you already. a question. This is your email. So go down there. See, uh, put that back up if we could. I just want to ask you one question. If it is not 6103 and it is your email, let us just go right below the line. There is one little sentence, the large, well-known blank universities. See that little sentence right there? The large, well-known blank universities. What is underneath that? I don't know, sir. You wrote it and you don't know? You can't remember? I is don't it, remember every email. You remember the subject process. here. This is about the lawsuits a number of Christian-affiliated uh, universities had against uh, the government regarding their religious liberty rights, correct? That is what the subject matter of all these emails are in this exchange with Slambro, right? It is about the definition under 6033. So you can't tell me is that Christian university? Is that Catholic university? You can't tell me what is underneath that word, even though you wrote it? No, sir. I do not know what is underneath the blanks. You can't tell me what is underneath the blanks, even though you wrote it. You can't tell me who decided to black this out and redact this so the committee couldn't get it. But your testimony is also, I did not share any confidential taxpayer information with the White House. Even though 75 times you were clear to meet with Ms. Lambro and you had this correspondence back and forth with all kinds of redactions, and all the redactions say the same thing, 6103. 
It sure looks like someone broke the law here, Ms. Lambrou, or Ms. Uh, Ms. Ingram. I would refer the Congressman to the team with which this committee will is you already working on the Will document. you provide, Mr. Chairman, if I could, please, will you provide us the person or persons who decided that this committee couldn't see this information and wrote 6103 on this email? I will take the word back that the folks who are working with the committee on the production of documents clarify. But that should be, with with you. The, or, or, you could, or you should be able to give us the information. If it's not 6103, then just tell us, get with, us the, with, the clean email. Would the gentleman yield? Be happy to yield. Would the individuals behind Ms. Ingram who are from the IRS please identify yourself for the record? And I just want to know if there is somebody there that could communicate back to the IRS that we would like these documents in unredacted format so that we could go forward and have a, a conversation. Is there anyone in that group who can correspond with the IRS? I po maybe apologize. Maybe Danny Werfel should have been here. Yeah, he should have been here. That is yeah. my point. Mr. So Chairman. is there anyone of you that has the ability to correspond to Ledge Council or to uh, Legislative Affairs or to the IRS to let them know that we would like the unredacted documents so we could go forward and ask Ms. Ingram what her involvement was and what organizations were being targeted or answered uh, in this case. Will one of you raise your hand if you can? Mr. Chairman. Chairman, we would be glad to take your question. No, we don't want your question. I, I will come back for the record. You will be back here if that is the case. Okay. I would instruct the clerk, uh, I will recognize the gentleman in a second, I will instruct the clerk to get a call in to the IRS. I would like those documents delivered before this hearing is over so that we at least can task the witness details about her own emails she doesn't seem to be able to recognize. But Mr. Gentleman, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. Gentleman, Mr. Chairman, just two, two, hopefully not on furlough. Two quick things, Mr. Chairman. First of all, well, in this case, they are essential. Mr. Chairman, first of all, remember what took place here. The White House and the IRS are communicating back and forth potentially giving away confidential taxpayer information to get lawsuits dismissed from Christian universities suing the government over their religious liberty rights, number one. Number two, remember this. This law compels every single American individual mandate to go to this exchange and give personal information to the IRS. They are compelled think, to do that. And this lady was sharing personal information with the White House. With, that's with the why gentleman, this law is so scary. The gentleman's time is now expired. Thank you very Would much. Would the gentleman like to be recognized? Yes, thank the you. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes.